and welcome back in this video we're gonna talk about impacts uh, so as usual I just want to show you the process that we're gonna go through we're gonna start with a simple shape gonna modify it probably replicate it a couple times add a little bit noise to it in terms of structure and basically we're gonna cut out some of the shapes and mix it with some other ones just to you know get rid of the feeling of uh, repetition and in the end as usual we're just gonna add a bit more glow to the edges of the texture so we could get this nice bloom and shine in the game engine mm, i spent some time also in unreal engine trying to you know make something out of this texture so here it is that's the basic impact obviously i don't consider it finished because I'll probably want to add some smoke to it and maybe some long lasting sparks and you know just a bit more movement if that would be like a for the real project but this is like a very simple implementation so let me walk you through and um, as you can see this is like a um, that texture I showed you um, in Photoshop is just scaling up and uh, dissolving a bit and we've got ring as well we're gonna create that um, in substance designer and this is just the sparks and i think what i'm doing in this example is i'm actually using you can see here exactly the same material as for the um that impact texture but i am scaling this on one of the axes so basically it's very um long but very thin And the last one is just a ring, but this one is uh, much larger, so it covers um, a lot of the space. And here is again the uh, the full effect. Okay, so let's dive into Substance Designer and create those textures. Okay, so let's start with a Polygon 1 node. Let's maybe turn that into a triangle. Scale it down a bit. We got some random rotation. Yeah, I don't want to modify any of the triangle size uh, shapes. I'm gonna run it to transformation node. Um, I want to disable tiling because I want to modify the shape a bit, but I want it to tile. So we've got it here, you change it to absolute and then um, here you change it to absolute and then select no tiling. And now basically you can just, you know, grab those handles and try to modify the shape. Um, something like this maybe. And now, now I want to do, I want to subtract some um, circular shapes from this triangle. So I'm just going to create a a circle basically scale it down I'll run it to transformation as well and plug it into the blend node using the subtract node so i'm gonna double click on the blend node and click once on transformation so basically i can modify the circle while previewing the triangle and basically what it does to the triangle. Okay, so I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna copy and paste the blend node. I'm gonna do the same to the transformation node and do this basically. So double click on the new blend node, click once on the new transformation node, and just gonna shift some stuff around, trying to get uh, a little bit better shape that I consider to be a bit more stylized.
Okay, let's maybe try something like this. Um, now I'm gonna use splatter circular, circular. But I'm gonna drag it into the pattern input one, change the pattern to image. Um, pattern amount, I'm gonna change it to five for now, and then later on we can, you know, go back and uh, tweak it. I'm gonna add some random randomization to it. Scale. Some scale random as well. Maybe even the radius random, but I don't want to go too far. Okay, so now I'm gonna do, I'm gonna run it to another blend node and I want to extract, well not extract, subtract the, the center of, uh, of this texture to create this uh, circular shape. So again, shape node disk scale down plug it into the blend node and use the subtract node and i'm just gonna scale down the circle to get maybe something like this now what i would like to introduce is to some random shapes that will be subtracting from all those uh, spikes so um, another blend node and I'm going to use uh, cells, cells one, run it through histogram scan with the contrast almost to the end. But I'm going to reduce the scale of the cells quite drastically, maybe to seven. And I'm gonna use subtract in the blend node. So as you can see, this is probably not what we want. And what we probably want, we want to mask this subtraction to some circular shape. So maybe let's run it this through blend node. Um, I'm gonna add another shape. And this is gonna be a circle. And the blend node, we're going to use multiply just to make sure that you know it's happening only in this circular area. And we're going to subtract this from uh, from our spikes, so we can modify the the area of this subtraction. And now we can go back to our cells and change it this this order and the scale of it as well. I'm going to change scale to 8 and, you know, tweak the disorder and values. So I think something like this could work because we're cutting out some of the shapes, um, but it feels like a, it's a one element. Well, five elements, but it seems like they're all together, basically. So I would just want to leave it like this for now. And now I want to do, I want to create this uh, ring area. And, and I want it to be stylized just a little bit as well. So I'm going to go with shape node, disk, scale it down, run it through warp. I'm going to use pedaling noise as our warping texture. So 
so we get basically something like this and but i want to i want to mask it to the circle so copy paste shape node and let's try and multiply okay so we kind of erasing the outer edges which is what we want and we want to erase the uh, inner circle as well so copy paste this blend node copy paste our circular shape again but this time oh, we need to plug this blend node and but this time we want to subtract it. and now we can select this shape and just scale it down erasing the uh, the center of it basically and now we can go back to the parallel noise and just reduce the scale of it as you can see we get really nice uh, results at least i think those are really nice and kind of a little bit stylized so now let's maybe blend those together and with the uh, add linear and as you can see it's just the circle is a little bit too big so let's just reduce and those uh, circular shapes maybe somewhere around here okay so now what we could do we could go back to our um, splatter circular node and we can actually play with the putter amount for example right if we want to have more spikes or maybe less like three i'm just going to stick with five for this example but we can basically randomize it so let's say i just want the radius to be a bit larger and uh, i'm gonna change the scale of it as well maybe something like this scale random just to randomize it a bit more to maybe something like this obviously now I have to go back and maybe uh, play with the, our uh, subtraction node it's just simple just gonna select the, um, the circle shape and maybe increase it get those kind of results I can also can um, can also go to cells basically and change the disorder of it to get uh, better results or just different results if you want and now you can see the circle is uh, too small so we're just gonna increase the size of it I'm gonna reduce the parallel noise scale as well and maybe uh, add some disorder to it so I get basically a different result so as you can see we get this kind of impact and the funny thing is that we can always go back to the uh, our transformation node for example and you know keep tweaking this until we are happy with the and um, those spiky shapes And I personally feel like this is very powerful now because I don't have to, you know, hand paint it though. So I just modify a couple shapes and in my opinion, we can get some decent results from it. Maybe I'll just increase the parallel noise scale just a little bit. Okay, so now we need a, a blur because we want to get this really nice uh, bloom around it and we're gonna blend it and get something like this obviously what you can do now you can um, invert this shape run it through distance node and invert it again and instead of 
I mean, it depends what you want, right? If you want like those hard shapes, I mean, yeah, that's it. But maybe you want something different. Maybe you want a little bit more softer shapes. So you can do that um, thing with a distance node. To get something like this. And now you can control the distance. You can also run the our inverted grayscale from the distance through histogram scan. So you can have a little bit better control. Over those shapes, okay. The histogram scan usually gives us a very anti aliased, non anti aliased um, artifact, so it might be a good idea to run it through um, a little bit of blur as well. But yeah, basically, this is our um, stylized impact texture, which is very modifiable. You can basically keep, um, tweak a couple settings if you need more spikes, just increase the. Um, the amount of them in the pattern amount as you can see look three looks cool four looks cool five looks cool as well so um, yeah I think that's it um, this will be part one maybe for the part two I'll come up with something uh, a little bit different and we're definitely gonna look into how to just you know make a couple ring textures as well so we can have an uh, interesting impact um, yeah i um, hope you find it useful and i hope you shared gonna share that video with someone and maybe we can get more people into vfx for games thanks for watching everyone